Hey friends, welcome to today's video. We are going to be making a toasty warm autumn soup. This soup is vegan, but as always you can add and take away ingredients and we're gonna hop right in. To get started, I'm going to saute about four or five clo cloves of garlic. You can do more or less depending on what you like. And I am using about a tablespoon of vegan butter. This is the one that we use. And then we're going to go ahead and toss these veggies in. We have three stalks of celery, one small onion diced, and about four small carrots diced up. We're going to go ahead and put that in the pan. I have this on medium heat, and we're going to go ahead and let everything just get kind of soft and the onions get translucent. I'm probably going to cook it on medium heat for eh, six to eight minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the other items. These are the veggies I'm cutting up next. So I have four small potatoes, one uh, medium sized sweet potato, one red pepper, and one zucchini. Ice blend here is about two tablespoons of each of the following. Cumin, garlic salt, ginger, smoked paprika, mustard seeds, celery seeds, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to use about a fourth of this in the sauteed vegetables right now. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. I just mixed all of those seasonings together. And it seems like a lot, but once we have everything along with all the broth, it's not gonna really be overpowering or anything like that. It's just going to add a lot of depth to this dish. So now I'm going to add about a half can of coconut cream. Now feel free to leave this out if you don't like the coconut flavor, but again in the end, this doesn't taste super coconutty or anything. It just gives it more of a nutty flavor, I think. My coconut cream has been in the fridge, so it is a little solid as you're going to see, but that's going to melt. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir this around just a bit and mix everything in. Now I'm just going to leave this be for another five minutes or so on medium, low to medium heat. And I'm going to put the rest of the veggies in the crock pot. Chopped, as you can see here, the potatoes, sweet potato, zucchini, and red pepper. I'm going to go ahead and place all this in my crock pot. My vegetable broth, and I have a 32 ounce um, can here, not can, box. Now I like this, I like to make sure that this just about covers the veggies. As you can see, it goes to about the top. I have a few on top, but that's okay. I'm also adding one can of chickpeas, garbanzo beans. My baby's just about ready for nap. Now I'm also going to take another quarter of that seasoning and just sprinkle it over. And then I'm going to give this a good mix. I have it on low. And we're gonna go ahead and add our sauteed vegetables now. So as you can see, this is also going to add a little bit of liquid. So go ahead and just add this right on top and then give it another stir. Now, if your liquid is not covering just about the top like you see here, go ahead and add maybe a half cup of water or as much water as you need to have it covering most of your um, food, your veggies. <laughs> and now we're just going to cover this and we are simply going to let it cook for about four to five hours on the low. Um, and then we will end up adding our kale and some other item, uh, I keep saying items, on some other ingredients after this cooks. So I'll see you in about four hours. All right guys, it's been four and a half hours. So now we can move on to the next step. It smells so delicious. So. I'm going to take about a fourth of this soup and place it in my food processor. You can use a blender or um, one of those, I guess, hand immersion things. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, you can also skip this step if you want your soup to be just a plain soup. But I do like mine to be creamy and I think for a vegan soup, this is kind of a step that you can take rather than adding like a milk or cream. Of course, you can use a plant-based milk if you want. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take about a fourth of this soup and place it into our uh, food processor. I added a little too much liquid as you can see, but I'm just going to go slow. 
Now go ahead and add this back in to the soup. Go ahead and stir this all back together. <laughs> I guess if that's what you want to call it. And now what we can do is add the kale and you can go ahead and prepare your rice if you are making rice. And this shall be done. I like to let it cook for about another hour with the kale in the soup. And I'm going to put about probably two, let's see, I'm gonna put like two huge handfuls of kale. I've washed my kale and I've also taken the stalks out and you want to do that unless you want really hard pieces in your soup. So I'm just removing the stalks and just making sure that everything gets rinsed off. There's some stalks that might be a little smaller. It's not a big deal if you leave them. And it's really not a big deal even if you leave the big ones. It's up to you, but I do think they're very woody and they don't soften very much. So I also think they have a very bitter taste. So up to you. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like kale, Still make the soup, but use spinach instead. But you guys, kale is so good for you. So I definitely think for me, I would rather consume it in a soup where it's very nice and tender and not the main ingredient than a salad. So that's my little tip for you. Make sure that your kale is in smaller pieces. I already kind of broke mine up. Go ahead and just add it right on top of your soup. Make sure you didn't miss any little stalks like I did. And then you can go ahead, take your spoon, just kind of smush it down in there. You can decide if you want to add more or less. I'm going to add actually about double this amount, but I'm going to add the other half a little closer to the end because I like the how it kind of gives different texture because some will be really cooked and some will be a little bit more chewy have a little bite to it. So now I'm going to add some frozen corn. And I'm just going to add about a cup of frozen corn. I like to do this after. I'm just going to add the rest here. I like to do it after we blend it up because I just don't really think the corn needs to be blended up. I kind of want to make sure that it's all in here for texture again and flavor. So we're just going to put the lid back on. For another hour, but after a half hour, I'm going to add another amount of kale. Remember to get your rice cooking and you are almost done. So again, just gonna kind of press this down on top. This is a good time to go ahead and take a little taste, see how you like the seasoning, see if you need to add any extra salt or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Been working all day, so. Okay. That is perfect. I'm not going to add any more spices, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and let this cook for another half hour. Then we can so I just went ahead and made some jasmine rice and that is ready as well. All right, looking delicious and it's time to add the other half of the kale that I want to add. And we are almost done guys. All right. Dinner is done, so now what I like to do is put a little bit of rice in the bottom of the bowl and then serve the soup on top and serve it with some potato rolls, which are vegan of course, and go ahead and enjoy.